Jam School Remix. Here's a counterintuitive classic. Get ready to face the Monty Hall Paradox. This is a statistical problem called the Monty Hall Problem. Imagine you're playing Let's Make a Deal, the original with Monty Hall. Behind one of the three curtains is a car. Behind the other two curtains are goats. So right now, if you're gonna pick one of these curtains, what does your gut tell you the odds are of it being behind any one choice. One out of three. So there's three choices. Only one of them has the car or the $20. Right. The other two are goats or you owe me a beer, right? We're gonna do this with John. Three choices here. Which one of these doors do you want to choose? That one. That one. Now I could just turn it over and show you what you got. You could. But let's make things a little more interesting. I'm gonna show you what's behind this door right here. There's a goat over here. Now, because I'm feeling generous, I'm gonna give you a chance if you want to, you can change or you can stick with the one you got right now. Which one you want? I'll stay. Two questions I'm gonna ask you guys. Does it matter if you change or stay the same? At this point, now I have the chance. That's right, because there's only two choices. It's either this one or this one. It's a 50-50 right. chance, you picked it, you're there. Second question, what are the odds that you'll win both if you stay on the same one or if you change to the other one? You thought the 50, odds 50? were 50-50 across the board. And you know what? Just about everyone agrees with you. You are absolutely wrong. Let's see what would have happened, right? You picked this one. We revealed this one. You said you didn't want to change. And then the truth is, the 20 bucks, the car, was this one right in the middle. And you actually picked to go. There's two reasons I was going against you. One was statistical, one was psychological. I offered you a chance to change, and you declined. Right. Most people decline because it's very agonizing to make a decision. And once people make a decision, they tend to always want to stick with it. Let's talk about the statistical reasons. Right now, what are the odds that the one you'll pick will be the car? Uh, one in three. One in three. Let's flip it upside down. What are the odds that you'll pick a goat? Two out of three. So you have to assume whatever you pick is probably a goat, right? Right. right. So you probably have your hand on you the goat. You have a better chance of picking the goat, right? And then what do I do? I reveal the other goat. So knowing there's a two-thirds chance that you've picked the goat, there's a two-thirds chance that this card is the card that I have to buy. The card for twenty dollars, right? So believe it or not, not only should you always switch, but if you do switch as a policy, your odds are two-thirds, sixty-six percent of the time, that you will win. If you decide that you're always gonna switch when you can, there's only three ways that everything can run out. You start with this one. Right. I reveal this one, so that means we switch to this one, and we reveal this one is a goat. You now have the winner. You start here, I reveal this one, and then you switch. This was the car, and that was the goat. We have one to one. So you start with this one, I reveal that this one's the goat, you switch, and it turns out that you get the car. So hard numbers, two out of three times, if you decide to always switch, you will always get the car. Since we posted this, we've gotten two types of complaints. Some people say that we're totally wrong, in which case we say, I don't know, do the math or check it out on Wikipedia. The other complaint is people say it's not an actual paradox, to which we say the definition of a veridical paradox is something that seems absurd but turns out to be true. And the literal definition points to the Monty Hall paradox. Scam School Remix brings you the best of nine years and 600 plus episodes of the show. You can dive into the complete Scam School archive or you can check out our latest adventure as me and Jason Murphy are on a quest to become the ultimate gentleman, warrior, and scoundrel on the modern rogue.